Has your raw water washdown system stopped working? In this video, we'll troubleshoot and fix the problem, as well as implement two improvements to help increase the longevity of the system. Okay, your raw water washdown is no longer working. The most obvious thing to check is to see if the valve is open and mine is. Second thing to check is the switch button on your dash and my switch was on and last thing you can go check is the breaker and my breaker is not tripped. Okay we're here in the bilge and this is the salt water wash down pump and we can tell just by looking at it it's seen some better days. We've got corrosion all on the outside of it. This is the power supply and we have, we know that we tested the, um, we tested the circuit breaker. We know that the switch is on and this little tester shows us that we've got power. So that means this guy is to blame. So we're going to replace that today. We're also going to make some improvements on this system. Uh, hopefully to make it last a little longer than this one did. You need to determine which silcock is feeding this pump. And we could see here that the input hose comes from here and I've already turned this off. If this lever was in line, that means it's open. If I were to take one of these hoses off right now, water should rush in. We're not going to do that though. We're going to close this valve so that no water comes in. These hose connectors have wing nuts on them, which make it really easy to disconnect without tools. There's going to be some residual water in the system. And it smells like the Raritan Bay. Don't be like me and forget to bring your screw gun and extension bit. Here I'm removing the four screws that hold the pump on with a Phillips head screwdriver. Retain the stainless steel screws and their washers for installing the new pump. In my boat it's easier to do as much work as you possibly can outside of the build. So here I'm getting ready to do the uh, electrical connections as well as install a pre-filter. The manufacturer SureFlow recommends that you have a pre-filter on the inlet side of this pump. And I'll include links to both the pre-filter and the new SureFlow pump in the description. We can reuse the Deutsche plug from the old pump. You will need new ends to crimp on. First thing I did was mark the black wire so I knew which side it was. And then here I'm removing the retaining clip with a pair of needle nose pliers. I'm prying the post up a little bit. And I'm just pushing them down with a screwdriver. And then they'll come out with the rubber stopper. Here I'm taping the wire leads together and then I'm going to cut them to length and strip the ends. Use the correct size Deutsche terminal ends and the correct crimper to install new ends. Insert the rubber grommet and you could reassemble the plug. I've already inserted the wires into the plug and I'm just making sure the terminal ends are seated before I put the orange keeper clip in there. You could just use a pair of needle nose pliers, uh, push that into the place until you hear the click and you're all set. I'm making two improvements to the raw water washdown system to hopefully increase the longevity of the pump. Uh, first of which is a pre-filter from the pump manufacturer SureFlow. This inline filter uh, mounts via the compression fittings on the pump and no sealant is necessary. Just thread it on to the input side and you're done. Because I added the pre-filter, the existing hose wouldn't fit, so I just bought a piece of reinforced vinyl tubing from the local hardware store and I'm cutting that to length. Here I've already used the original hardware to attach the pump to the stringer. I've attached both the input and the output lines uh, to the pump and I'm getting ready to plug it in for the first time. The 
success. Don't forget to wire tie the harness back in place and clip the ends. I'm gonna make one more improvement to this system uh, to see if I could get it to last a little longer. Uh, you can see that it's attached to the same through hole fitting as one of the live well pumps. And we could see that that live well, live well feed comes right up here. So in this pump, if you took this cartridge off, uh, you'll see that this water is able to flow from, from down below the through hole fitting through this pump and get to uh, get to the salt water or raw water wash down. So I believe that I can back flush this pump running fresh water through it if I were to put a hose end fitting onto this line up top in the live well. Uh, of course I would need to shut off the through hole fitting so that I'm not pumping the water right out the boat. But if I close that off, this water should pass through this pump, come down through this fitting, go through here, and I could pump fresh water through the inside of this salt water pump. And I believe that'll help it last a lot longer. So let's go topside and test that out. Here's the output of my live well pump on the port side here. Um, and I'm going to show you a close up here. This is the actual fitting. And this is, uh, these fittings come from TH Marine. They're an oddball, very coarse thread. And I wasn't able to find any fitting, any plumbing fittings that uh, are a match for that. So what I did was, this hole is approximately 5 eighths, it's a little bit less, it's more than a half inch though. What I did was take a brass 5 eighths inch barbed adapter that I got from Home Cheapo, and I heated, heated the end up a bit, and at the vise I was able to press that in. Okay, I have the through hole fitting closed, so I can't be sucking salt water. So the idea here is to back flush the system when you get back to the dock at the end of the day. Uh, get that salt water out of the pump, get it out of the hoses, and make everything last a little bit longer. This will also help in year-end winterization tasks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and tight lines.